everybody. Thanks for joining me here today on YouTube. Today I thought I'd do a video on how to make a floaty necklace. Let's have fun creating. Hi everybody. Thanks for joining me today. And I want to say thanks so much for liking and subscribing to my videos. It really helps me out and I really appreciate your support. So today I'm going to be demonstrating how to make two different types of floaty necklaces. We have one where you'll be floating on wire with crimp beads and one where you'll be floating with spacer beads. They both start with the same ending, which is a clamshell bead tip. And these come open like so. And this is how you want them to look when you're ready to close off your necklace. So I'll show you how to do that really quick. So the first thing you wanna do for both necklaces is cut two to three strands of wire, depending on how thick you want your necklace to be. This is two strands. And if you wanted to have three strands, for example, you could have three strands of wire with beads layering and to create a more wider necklace. Um, but for right now, I'll just use two beads. So you have two wires. So I have the two wires cut and I'm gonna grab a crimp bead. And you want to slide these through the clamshell bead tip together through the center. And then you wanna add your crimp bead together with these as well. You know, it's funny, I always get on camera and then I think I get nervous and then everything starts to stick funny. So then you want to crimp this together like so. And I'm using a number one crimp from Beadalon and I'm also using Beadalon wire. I'm using the 0 0.018 inches or the 0.46 millimeter size and the 49 strand. I will put all of this down in the notes on the video. So then you want to cut down your excess wire ends and you want to slide up your clamshell and press it together. And then you add your jump ring and lobster clasp to this on the end. And that is how you create a clamshell bead tip ending. It actually works really great for holding multiple pieces of wire. It's a pretty large hole here in the center. So you could add, you know, three, probably four pieces of wire to have a nice necklace. And um, anyways, that's how you attach that one. So the next thing I'm gonna do is demonstrate how you do this type of necklace. So it's really easy. You just take your wire that you're using, I'm going to cut off another piece here, and you want to use crimp beads for this one. Again, I'm using number one crimp, and you just take your wire, and you want to crimp on there first. And this is a cute way to make a necklace as well, and you could use a bead soup even to create a floating necklace. Just grab various glass beads that you might have or stone and create a fun floaty necklace. So I'm gonna go ahead and crimp this down and I use the rotation. So like I'm gonna crimp it flat and crimp it again so I have a cute little hamburger looking there instead of leaving it open and flat. If you leave it open and flat, it'll be raw on the edges which might catch on clothing or scratch you. So I like to double crimp that way it's nice and flat on there and it will support holding your beads. So you just wanna grab a bead and you can use eight millimeter or whichever size you want. You just wanna make sure it's not too heavy. Um, this is a 10 millimeter rondelle, I think. So you just slide it on there and then grab another crimp bead and slide it down. And then just crimp right above it so it has a little bit of space, like so. And then just travel on down your wire so you have a little section with nothing there and add another crimp bead and another stone. Same way. I, I would probably keep them maybe a couple inches together, you know, to probably two or three inches apart. That way you have the floating look, but it's also not too much wire in between. And then grab another stone and you could grab another shape or color, like whatever you feel like doing. And then you add another crimp bead. And then if you wanna layer it, you could layer different beads in different sections of wire. That way they fall opposite of each other, you know, like this. And you can add another strand and have beads kind of fall in the center here and have a nice layered necklace look. So that's how you make a floating necklace with crimp beads. 
So next I'm gonna show you how to do this style of necklace. So this one you need to have, I'm using two strands of wire for this one, the same size as the other one. I'm using the 0 0.018 inches. And you wanna have a spacer bead and the spacer bead needs to be wide enough to support holding two to three strands of wire, but also small enough where it will stay floating on the wire in place. If it's too large of a center hole, it's just gonna fall off and it won't work as a spacer bead to hold everything in place. So you wanna make sure it's large enough to hold multiple pieces of wire, but also stay put on the wire and not move up and down and fall off. So it's supposed to act as a placeholder. So what I'm doing with this one is I have two pieces of wire and I'm going to slide a bead on one side of the wire and then take both pieces of wire together and then slide on my spacer bead. And I'm using a four millimeter spacer bead here. And you just slide both your wires together and down towards your bead. So since this bead is on the right side, I wanna do it on the opposite side. I'm going to do it on the left side. And again, you can use different shaped beads, glass, stone, whatever you feel comfortable with, crystals, and just really mix it up to make whatever desired color you want. And that's so much fun about this style of necklace is you can do so many different things with it with a great look at the end. And it's not too, too time consuming as a project. So now I have the opposite um, wires here. So you have a bead on the left and a bead on the right. And the next I'm going to do is a bead on the left. So you just keep doing this pattern until you've reached your desired length. And I'm going to slide this one down. And again, I'm going to pick up a spacer bead. I also think this is a fun project for like multiple age groups and it's pretty easy. I would definitely say this is beginning beading. Go ahead and slide that down. And so you can see a pattern start to form here for your necklace. And you just go all the way around until you've decided that you've finished it long enough and then you've created a floating necklace. I'm gonna go ahead and add one more bead on the opposite side. I'm gonna mix it up here with a different shape. And add my spacer bead again. So I'm going to finish this necklace and I'll be right back. So I finished beading the necklace. It's really pretty. I love how this came out and it's also lightweight as well. And I also wanted to say um, there is sterling silver wire that you can buy from Beadalon. That is this and it works fantastic. And that way if you wanted to upgrade to sterling silver it's a possibility. So this is what it looks like finished. How pretty is that? And so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the end here. So then again, what I do is I add my clamshell bead tip and grab my crimp bead and slide both wires through. Now, if you do use more strands of wire, you'll want to have a larger crimp uh, you'll probably need like a number two or a number three crimp to hold more wires. I should have said that earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this down because I don't want to have too much of a gap of wire between the last bead and where I'm going to have my clasp. And I'm going to go ahead and crimp this down and then cut off excess wire. Get that out of here. And then slide up the clamshell, pinch it down. The other thing you can do too is you can add a drop of glue in there to help secure it a little bit more. And I'm gonna add a jump ring and then lobster clasp and it's finished. Like what a great project is this. 